find the area of the shaded region. So as we look at this shaded region to find the area of this sector we would need to know the central angle and it's not given to us but 116 is given to us and we can see that we have a straight line here if we have this angle. So this angle is going to be supplementary to 116. If I did 180 minus 116 I will get this angle which is 64 degrees. So now I'm ready to go ahead and find the area of this sector. I'm going to take the angle which is 64 degrees, put it in a proportion, the angle all the way around the circle, 360 degrees, and that's going to equal the area of the sector I'm trying to find in proportion to the area all the way around the circle which is pi r squared, and it looks like r is 8, so then we're going to square that. So let's go ahead and solve that. These degrees will cancel and I'm going to multiply both sides by 64 pi. That'll get rid of it over here and it'll put it over here, 64 pi. Now it doesn't tell us to round to any decimal place so I'm going to express it in exact form as a reduced fraction. So looking to see what I could reduce, 8 will go into 36, 45 times and it'll go into 64 eight times. So now I have eight times 64 which is 512 and then put the pi on there and that's over 45 and our units are in centimeters so area centimeters squared.